Today we are doing an experiment. What is it, you ask? To make Ryan colorblind for a couple of minutes. <laughs> and you guys can participate too. Is it noon? No, oh, it's noon. Hey everybody, it's ACX Riddler coming to you live from Houston, Texas. I just want to say, thanks for staying up till noon. Thank you for that intro. My name is Ryan. My name is Corey. You guys want a shout out? You want to be part of the episode? Click in the eye right here. We'll do it for the you. All seeing eye knows all. <laughs> oh. It knows all. Having the gift of seeing colors is great, right guys? Yeah. But sometimes some people don't get that gift. I bet you don't know what we color capable of seeing people refer to it as. Right, right. What, do you, what, what do you think we call it? I don't know. Uh, color. Huh. Mm. Color. Uh, can't nope. see them. Colorblind. Oh, I didn't know <laughs> that. called colorblind people. I didn't know that. <laughs> but what if somebody decided to take that gift away for five minutes? <laughs> Only five. Well, that's exactly what we're doing today, guys. That's because we're asking the question, what would it be to be colorblind? For a couple of minutes. What would it be like to be colorblind? For only a couple of minutes. So. <laughs> so first off, Corey here, if some of you didn't know, actually has issues seeing spectrums of color. Yep. I'm not, I would, be, you want to call it colorblind. Even the doctor doesn't even quite know. It's like <laughs> a washed out syndrome. Not, I don't experience, I don't fall under any of the categories that we're going to talk about, but colors, certain spectrums of colors just mesh in together. They blend in. And yeah, the like longer that I try to, focus on them and to pick them out the worse it gets the worse it gets yeah. yeah like i almost have to look at it turn away look at it because it just becomes like a, a just blur becomes one, and it's it's, one color. it's usually in the blue and purples so that being said i can see colors but today's experiments uh, i've been told that i might make me legit colorblind for five minutes, five minutes <laughs> for at least five yeah. minutes uh, you, it's we'll legit go longer though. go longer i'll go find out i guess but before we get into the experiment to make ryan colorblind we first need to explain why because you guys aren't just here to see stupid things happen you're here yeah. to learn too right you can do both here to learn <laughs> to see anything at all we need some tiny little helpers inside of our eyeballs so-called photoreceptors these are two different types of uh, them of course in our brains and eyeballs called roads rods and cones roads <laughs> roads, and roads, and roads. And cones. hey safety drive, on the road drive cars in your eyes <laughs> Both of them are sitting on the retina, though, at the back of your eye and pass information onto the brain. The rods are sensitive to light while the cones pick up the color. Yep. Each of the cones is carrying one out of three different photopigments. What is those colors, do you ask? Black and Red, white. Red, <laughs> green, and blue. That's them, too. <laughs> <laughs> But they all react differently on colored light sources. For each of these three types, there exists a specific color absorption curve with peaks at different points in the color spectrum. Mixing together the information of those three different types of cones makes up our color vision. Cool, eh? Now, when one type of cone malfunctions, the color this cone would normally absorb is altered. This changes the color perception, resulting in a somewhat different way of perceiving color. This is what we call color blindness. Yeah. It doesn't just disappear. It no, just, just goes different. away. <laughs> just there goes are away generally me. three types of cones translate. There are three types of cones translate into three main types of color blindness. Deuteran, which is the green. Protan, which is the red. And Triton. Triton. Ha, sounds like a Pokemon character. <laughs> Triton. Is the blue. Here is a picture that we're going to slap up there. So, yeah, you can definitely tell that one of them is colorful balloons yep. and the other two. Very similar, the other two. You see, yeah, once, very... once the color spectrum is cut off at one of the reds or the blues, you know, there's, or I mean, red and the greens, you can tell that there's a total difference in, oh, yeah. in, in color change. Yeah, very different. In yeah. each of these cases, the affected cone can either be mutated or defective. A mutated cone causes a slight shift, and a defective cone causes bigger shifts in the color perception. The Triton one is very rare, which is the missing of blue cones. And, um, yeah, we're going to slap up some other examples, too, while we talk here. You can so, see, see this one This one has actual colors. So, Corey, I'm curious. When you're looking at the normal, what do you see in terms of, of colors there? I mean, I can, like I said, I can see all the colors. I can clearly tell that there's there's a more vibrant colors on the end. Yeah. But the it's it's very in the normal one. It I have to look at the very peaks, the very peak to see the the purple. 
Oh, so for the four hundred to five or the four fifty to four hundred range or yeah, whatever. Yeah, it's, it's you could just, barely tell that because I can oh, like man, as, and the more I the, the more, more I you look at it, it just, just, it just really see for me the blue and the purple is clear. Like I can see there's from four fifty to four hundred. Those are two different colors, like completely blue and then purple. Um, and you said you you have some issues seeing a little bit of the red, the darker yeah. reds on the end of the yeah. normal, eh? Yeah. Yeah. See, I can see that it goes to dark red to a bright red to an orange. It's very smooth transition. Yeah, it is neat. And then the the protanopia. Protanopia there. It's you can you can see how it just becomes very. There's a couple yeah. spots in the in the spectrum that just almost disappear. Eh? Yeah, exactly. And deuteranopia. Deuteranopia. It's almost just a little bit more orange. Yeah. And then tritonopia, which is just crazy how how yeah, much colors are gone that, from from that one. That, that's interesting, eh? very very cool yeah the whole i love these these hope you guys are getting some use out of these because this yeah. is this is a very cool take on what some people yeah, see exactly. in terms of or lack lack of seeing one thing that people seem to be uh to think right off the bat is of course colorblind people can't see color but the term is incredibly misleading yeah. more than 99 percent of colorblind people can actually see color just yeah. different spectrums of it when i was growing up when you'd hear somebody who's colorblind like my, my, my cousin being one of them mm -hmm. I used to think like you know, Black and white. how you gonna drive yeah, and you can't exactly. tell what the color their lights are and yeah. everything. But no, it's obviously yeah. Not. You just see a different version of a red. Like you know, somebody who sees red is gonna see a lot of yellow yeah, exactly. in their time. <laughs> but enough about this boring stuff, or not so boring. I hope I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, let's get to the really really <laughs> cool stuff. Let's make Ryan colorblind. <laughs> right. What do I need to do? Here's what you need to do. You need to punch him really hard in the face. <laughs> which I'm, we need which, to remove my eyeball. Remove your eyeball for a second. <laughs> No, if you guys want to, guys, guys want to do this too. It's, yeah. uh, it's you know, let's it's, do it together. It's not gonna hurt. I'm gonna take off my eyeglasses. Much, not gonna hurt much. <laughs> I'm gonna use a needle for Ryan. Where is it, everybody? Um, so you're gonna grab a light source, flashlight, cell phone, a cell phone uh, flashlight would work too. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Um, so you gotta close one of your eyes tight. Okay, I'm gonna do my right eye. Yeah, put the light. I'm gonna do my left eye actually. Put, <laughs> put the light close to your closed eye for approximately thirty to forty-five seconds. Okay. After 30 to 45 seconds, you're going to put that light away from your eye and cover the eye with your hand. Yeah. Got it. But before I go on, we're going to... I think you can keep going. We're going to let this countdown go. I got it. You can keep going. We're going to... And after that, you're going to switch between eyes to see the color change. So you're going to... Cover one cover eye. Cover one eye. Because you're going to have a good one and you're going to have one that's uh, that's burnt out of his, out of his face. <laughs> But while Ryan's doing this, I'm going to give tips to make sure this experiment is successful. There are two important factors contributing to how well this will work. First, make sure to keep the light steady and at a constant distance from your eye. You don't want to keep moving the light further and closer. You want it at the same distance the whole time. Second, for this to work well, you need to keep your eye closed tight with the same force for 30 to 40 seconds. Don't open and close and take a peek. It might sound easy, but it gets difficult to keep your eyes shut at the same intensity for that long. Even slight changes in how tight you're closing your eye could affect which colors and wavelengths your eye is exposed to during that time. This uh, isn't ideal because you need your eye to be perceiving only red, not ranging from red to orange to yellow. Yeah. So it kind of makes sense. So I think that's more than enough time. All so right. now that Ryan is done, let's see what he thinks. Okay, so I'm going to cover this. So it looks normal. I can see. So here's a picture. Oh my God. <laughs> Ryan can look at. Oh my God. <laughs> Ryan's looking at this, and you guys can... Oh, my God. If you guys want to do so it, scroll, too. Oh, my... Okay, see, like, red is really pink. Purple and blue completely combined together. Orange and red, actually... Because I know orange is at the top, because it's a little bit different, but kind of blends in with the red. But orange and blue are completely the same. Green and yellow are... You could tell they really mix together. Orange is completely blending with the wall. Like, our Up Till Noon logo is completely blending with the wall. Go back to your other eye again. Oh my, oh my god, <laughs> that's so crazy. Yeah, like the vision is completely, it's completely messed up. That is so cool. Like even the, even the lights around us are, are, are bluish. Really? Yeah, like they they have a gray tint. See, so I now my, now my color's starting to come back a little bit. See, I wonder if the, the, the light, the light source, like if you have, you know how you can that's have like, crazy. you know how you can have like a bright white, like LED light as, yeah. as opposed to like a, a yellowy, I wonder if the... I think, you know what, there's a couple of other, like, ways you can experiment it. Like, grabbing, like, a thin piece of plastic that's white and covering your eye, it supposedly makes oh, it yeah. more white around your eye. So, yeah, yeah, there's there are other ways of doing it. That's really cool. Very I mean, cool I've guys. never, 
I'm, that's like man that's crazy yeah. I, I didn't think that would actually work but that works really well that's so yeah awesome. i mean i hope you guys did that as well and if you did please let us know the results down below because i would love to hear if you guys lost some of your vision so let us know down below what you think of this episode. i'm gonna give it a shot right away after this guys and for everything else about us including our merch shop go to our website at uptillnoon.com and don't forget to like share subscribe guys thank you very much for that'd, watching that'd be great and we've got a final spoonful of noonful for you today so thank you you guys know that about 8 to 10% of the male population is colorblind. Colorblindness is most present in males due to the way genetics work. Only an estimated half a percent of the female population is colorblind. That's pretty crazy. That is crazy. That's a, that's a huge Good jump for you, 10, girls. 10% basically. As always, thanks, thanks for staying, staying up till noon. noon.